Okay everybody, hello, good evening, well it's evening here. Um, as promised, I'm going to show you how to make the hot glue gun holder. It's brilliant, your glue gun does not fall over anymore. So quick, so easy. Um, I won't go into full decorating, as you can see my lovely grandchildren decorated this a few years ago now and it's just falling to pieces. So we'll get going. First of all, old bit of cardboard, okay? Whatever, any old bit of cardboard. Um, if you've got money to burn, please go right ahead and use chipboard, okay? <laughs> no, just joking. Okay, what we've got here is just a bit, six inches by six inches. Cut the square out. Once you've done that, voila, so clever. Um, mark half an inch line around all four okay half an inch once you've done that so just half an inch in ladies gentlemen what I'd like you to do is go along if you've got a score use it obviously I haven't and just score it a couple of times along the lines okay go ahead there we go. It just makes it a little bit easier for bending and doing it in a moment. Alright, and the last one. These are so simple to do and they just save your mats and everything else and your table from falling over glue. Then what we need to do is to cut one side on each. Don't cut both, okay? Just gives it a little bit of more stability if you don't cut both, okay? Right. Fold these over, even the little bits, okay? Beautiful. You can have your little tag on the inside. Or you can have it on the outside. It does makes no difference to the outcome. Hot glue. You can do it all at once or whatever you'd like to do or however you'd like to do it. That wasn't clever because now I've got hot glue where it shouldn't be. But that's okay because I'll just wipe it along. Okay. You can do it the other way around so that the coke is in the, all your, you know, this is not showing. But it doesn't matter, it's not going to show in a moment, okay? Here in Australia, oh, sorry ladies, people, we've got a hardware store called Masters. And there we get some contact free, okay? Very nice of them to give us all this nice little three bits of contact, contact for my scrapbooking and crafting. Love this one. Actually, no, I love this one. But unfortunately, I haven't got the home big enough to have something like this inside of it. So I get my little bits and bobs every time I go to the shop. If I can get freebies, I will get freebies, and it's as simple as that. Cut out a piece or whatever paper, whatever paper you want, you know, cut it out, stick it on, okay? I find it just as easy once again to use hot glue. You can use normal glue. Me, I'm impatient, okay? Honestly, I am. I'm terrible. Um, so we put it on. Done it. Once again, cut your sides, ladies. You can do both or one. I just find it a little bit neater finish if you do one. Okay, you can tack them over and it just gives it a little bit of extra strength. Okay. Right. 
right there we go beautiful there we go now we need to make it more stable because obviously this is a little glue gun i got we put this on this is not going to hold it and make it stable so what i do is i just get all the off bits of cardboard okay whatever let's get another one and i stick it inside you've got to put one piece all the way right in the middle okay and the rest just fill it up to the brim okay to the brim sorry you can leave this bit empty because that this is a bit that gives it stability you've got the weight of the gun here if you have it here as well it's going to tip forward so if you have it mainly towards the back that's where you need it I hope this makes sense to you but you need one piece of cardboard right in the middle to start with one or two doesn't matter but not all the way okay now the reason being is on your glue gun you normally have one two flat bit and then another flat bit what you need to do is to measure or to mark out around your glue gun okay just mark it on your on your box more towards the front not in the middle just past the middle virtually okay and then what you need to do is just cut out one thickness there we go so you're left with a tiny little bit down you know the thickness of your um, cardboard okay reason being is we need to stick this in here okay it needs to stick down it needs to stick down good and tight so obviously I have two glue guns you need to fill it up quite well this has been in here for a couple of years now honestly ladies um, and it has never come out it may look a bit messy but it still does its job and as you can see it just it doesn't fall over well that's good unless you knock it over <laughs> no it doesn't fall over okay so stick this one down move this one out of the way sorry stick it down hold it down okay that's the rest of it untangling as you can see he's brand new don't know what I'm going to do with him. Maybe if my good one could fluffs up. There you go. Okay. Decorate this however you like. Obviously I have two, so maybe you'd like to decorate it before you make this. Um, make sure it's stuck down. Once again, I didn't, so it's just coming off. That's it, ladies. You now have a glue gun holder that will last you. If this comes off, glue it back down. You know, it, honestly, they're great. Um, if you find it's tipping or whatever, put some more cardboard down the bottom until it's as steady as what you need it. All right? Um, and that's it. I'm hoping that you guys are having a really good day. And hopefully this one will work. <laughs> Video, I mean. Thanks, ladies. Bye for now.